Hey comic fans, uh, CB Smallwood here and this is Mental Junk Food where we talk about all things comics, uh, sci-fi, horror, fantasy, pop culture and everything in between. And today uh, I finally got around to doing another comic book review. I've been kind of uh, a little busy here or late, you know, you got your day job and you got all the other stuff that you do and and I, gosh, I've kind of fallen behind on all the comic book reviews I wanted to do. I, uh, there's like reviews I want to do on The Curse of Brimstone, review I want to do on uh, The Terrifics and a couple other books. And also a follow-up to uh, my Doom to Fail uh, prediction or theory about the whole new line of uh, <laughs> the new age of heroes by DC Comics. I kind of went blank there, sorry. But today, we're not going to be talking about any of that. What we're actually going to be talking about is a review for The Silencer. Now, The Silencer, I, I must confess that I had not much expectations of this book. It, it was not something that particularly interested me. I looked at the, the concept art for it, and I was like, eh, you know, eh. Let me look at it, eh. <laughs> and, um... And according to a lot of the uh, sales figures I've seen, I think everybody else had the initial same reaction. of like, eh. Instead, most everybody that went and bought a one of DC's new uh, line, New Age of Heroes books, pretty much everybody that bought a book, they either bought the Terrifics or they bought the Immortal Men. And everything else is, you know, kind of secondary, like Damage or Sideways or whatever. But that was the top two that they bought was Immortal Men and the Terrifics. And somehow, uh, this this little gem of a book, The Silencer, got lost in the mix. And I, I say it's really disappointing. If you haven't checked this book out yet, I recommend that you go and buy the first issue. And I think if you buy the first issue, you'll probably end up buying the second because it's a good book. It is a really good book. Now, the uh, the story is about a lady by the name of Guest Honor. Now, I'm assuming that's an assumed identity. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I had her name in reverse. Honor Guest. It's just weird to say it like that. Honor Guest. But I assume that is a assumed identity on the part of Honor. Uh, she is a mom who lives a semi-regular life, or just a regular life, I should say. You know, she has a husband and, and a, probably it looks like a um, three or four-year-old uh, son, I'm not for sure, and uh, she enjoys her mundane life. She enjoys uh, going to the store, uh, cooking meals, being a, a, I guess, a housewife or a homemaker, whatever you want to call it. That's she really enjoys that, you know. And and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like I'm trying to make a point here, but I'm not. But anyway, um, but all that kind of uh, blows up in her face because uh, she isn't just a mother. She's not just a wife. She uh, She's also a person with a past, and her past catches up with her um, at the uh, first issue in the parking lot of a grocery store as she's packing her groceries in a car. A bad guy shows up, and he's part of this League of Assassins, part of this what's called the Leviathan Organization. That's a pretty cool name, isn't it? Leviathan. Well, this guy's part of the Leviathan organization. He's there to bring her in, or kill her, or whatever. Tato, tomato. <laughs> and needless to say, um, we get to see the silencer in action. So, Honor Guest has this really, really cool power that I think is very interesting. It is called the Zone of Silence. So, what she does is, is she'll go, shh. And it creates this zone of silence where... If you're in that immediate sphere, it, 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 it basically sucks up all the sound. So, in theory, she's like the ultimate assassin because if she says, shh, and puts you in a zone of silence, you can't speak. Well, she can't speak either. She could shoot you with a bazooka and nobody could hear it. The bazooka wouldn't make a sound. So, that's what makes her an ultimate assassin. But she has to be in close proximity to you. You know, she can't use like a sniper rifle from um, about a football field away and use the power i assume she has to be like that the the, the uh, zone of silence bubble is probably like uh, about the size of a, a really big bedroom maybe or a really big living room you know so she's got room to maneuver and stuff like that so it only extends so far but a really cool power uh anyway um in the first issue of course she makes uh, quick work in, in a very cool way 
of this bad guy that's that's come to bring her into the uh, Leviathan organization. And then uh, later on, she's trying to figure out well what's going on. Uh, she doesn't want any part of her former life. That's the other thing that's really cool about this book. She's not interested in being the silencer anymore. She doesn't want to be part of that anymore. She just wants to live a normal life. These people just won't leave her alone. They're trying to suck her back in. And then we get the appearance of like a, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't call her a long lost friend or, or what about a long lost friend? I w- um, gosh, how can I phrase this? The appearance of somebody from her par- past, another person, in the form of uh, Talia al Ghul. Talia al Ghul, who is apparently you know, one of the head figures of the Leviathan organization, shows up and is like, hey, there's a civil war going on within the Leviathan organization. There's my side, and then there's the other side. And that's the reason this dude showed up in the parking lot of this grocery store and tried to attack you or apprehend you or whatnot. Our hero, the silencer or honor guest, she just doesn't want to have any part of it, you know. So she's just, no, no, this this ain't happening. I don't want to deal with this. Just leave me alone. Uh, long story short, there ends up being a battle in front of her house with uh, some more hired goons from the Leviathan organization. She uses her power again, and then you, that's where you get to see her use her uh, costume. It's it's like a nanotechnology kind of thing. It's like a disc, and she can slap it on her knee or not her knee, but on her leg, and then her outfit comes on her instantly. It's really cool, really cool stuff. By the end of the battle, uh, she calls a cleanup crew, and it, and it's really cool seeing this cleanup crew uh, show up and do their thing and, and how they make excuses as to why there's so much damage in the neighborhood and, and how she's trying desperately to keep the cover that she's a, a, a normal um, homemaker or, or mother or whatever, you know, however you want to phrase it, just an everyday uh, mom, I guess. And she's trying desperately to hold on to that life, and these people will not leave her alone. So, I've kind of drawn this out. Uh, I don't want to give too much away because, you know, I'd rather you just read it. And now, (laughs) you know, all things are subjective, right? You know, what I might like, you might not like, and vice versa. So it's really in the eye of the beholder. Having said that, this is a really good book. I feel like this is probably one of the best books that not only in the new age of heroes, DC line, but also one of the best books that DC Comics has put out because it is just fun. Oh, it's so refreshingly fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously, but at the same time, it has a a, a really cool uh, story that, 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 that does have some seriousness to it. And it's one of these stories that has two worlds to it, you know, like the uh, private life of the hero and the life of the hero, you know, kind of like the duality of like Peter Parker and Spider-Man, Bruce Wayne and Batman and that sort of thing. So it has that element to it and how she's desperately trying to maintain that that private life and and stay out of the killing business. And it's, it's a fun book, people. You really need to read it. So let's go ahead and let's uh, rank this comic book. Um... Let's see, uh, five-star rating, right? One star being the worst, five stars being the best. How would I rank this comic book? Me personally, and I, I mean, because it's it's me doing the review, I'm going to give this book five stars. I'm just going to go ahead, slap it right on there, five stars. This is a five-star comic book. Now, to some of you that might read this book, you will probably say this is more like a four-star comic. Four, <laughs> four-star, my country's coming out again. Some of you may say like this is a four star or a four and a half star comic book i would assume but me personally this is a five star comic book because it meets the criteria of the, the art's good the colors are good the story is, is is great and it's just it's fun and i've enjoyed reading you know issue one and issue two and and how the story's evolving and if it stays like this you know i i don't know i i i'm, I'm gonna be a fan of this book really honestly or truly or whatever i'm kind of rambling now uh, another cool thing about this before I end this video is that I can see this being a movie. You know, originally when I when I saw this comic book, I, I thought that maybe this was like DC's take on the Punisher. But this is such an interesting original character that I can't really make that comparison. You know, uh, if I would compare it to anything, I would compare it to uh, Wanted. You know, that had uh, Angelina Jolie in it and 
And the guy whose name I can't think of who played um, in X-Men, uh, played Professor Xavier and a couple other cool stuff. But anyway, uh, this, this, this is sort of like Wanted. And it's, it's like DC's own little cool little take on it. So I recommend you check this book out. Five stars. I think you'll enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you read it. What do you think about it? Uh, do you agree with the uh, star ranking that I gave it? Uh, would you recommend it to anybody else? Do you think it sucks? I like, to, I like to hear your thoughts on that. And I do read in each and every single comment. And I appreciate you taking the time to check us out this video. If you enjoyed it or found it informative, please remember to hit that like button. And as always, this is CB Smallwood, and I will see you in the next video.